adventure travel in scuba. This is the 10th day of our adventure and we are staying in Kanaskat Palmer State Park. Uh, we had to pack it up this morning pretty quickly because the clouds are not looking too promising. So it starts to drizzle a little bit, so which is like the second time that we are experiencing a little bit of rain. The first time was pouring quite a bit actually, so we were packing everything wet. But uh, today, actually no, that's the third time that we're experiencing rain. But today is just a little drizzle, but better be safe than sorry. So we pretty much packed up all the tents right now, getting the breakfast ready. Uh, yesterday we had a great day, or last week when you're watching this video, we had an awesome day uh, heading on to uh, Mount Raimir. Um, that's a glacier, a volcanic mountain as well. There's a glacier all around that mountain. Uh, if you watch the previous video, you'll see that. At the same time, the breakfast is getting ready. And today is bacon and eggs, one of the favorite breakfasts that we love, all of us pretty much. The campsite is pretty nice. It's a very lush forest, almost looks like a rainforest in British Columbia, but uh, we are just outside of the American uh, road that we did yesterday. Today's plan will be heading on to northern part of Washington and slowly making our way towards Canada. So now we are brewing the finest coffee that you can get on a campground. If you never watched the video of this device, have a look on that video. You'll find it on my channel. If you're a coffee lover, that does the trick. So you can have an espresso shot, Americano. There's a few different coffees you can make with this thing. And I wish it made more coffee, but since it's Americano, it's not too bad. Top up with water and good to go. Ooh, yes. Now, it's my portion of bacon cooking. See, this is what happens when you don't have when you don't have a frying pan. We are very creative people. Look at that! Iron Chef, Gordon Ramsay, cooking eggs. <laughs> mm, the finest breakfast. How much shit you can carry actually on a motorcycle? Breakfast is completed, we are well fed and leaving the campground towards Seattle, but we will not go to Seattle. And then most likely we'll have to be heading east on uh, Highway 20. That's a pretty cool little town, Arlington. And there we go, I-90 in front of us. So there we are, we're almost approaching Seattle. There's a downtown right in front of us here. And welcome to the freaking traffic that we haven't seen for 10 days. Civilization is welcoming us with the nice traffic at 10, 10 in the morning. We just got outside of uh, Seattle here, but we never went through Seattle, just hit it on the side uh, through uh, Interstate 5. It is getting warmer as well, 23 degrees Celsius. This morning we started riding, it was only 15, so the clouds are slowly moving away. I hope it's not going to be too as hot as the last couple of days because that was uh, too extreme. 
It was a perfect weather riding this morning, like between uh, 15 and uh, 20 degrees Celsius. But anything over 30, it's uh, torture riding a full uh, riding in a full gear. So on this exit here, we managed to grab ourselves a cup of coffee. So that's my third cup of coffee today. So I'm loaded with caffeine. So since this morning, after a while of driving, we're entering a mountain, mountain range again and feels like my home, back home. And right in front of me there's a glacier on this mountain. just entered North Cascade National Park in Washington. So I'm not sure if there's gonna be a parkies gate or not, or it's just a road through. Oh, look at that! Uh, that pergola made out of uh, electric tennis isolators. I think the dam is in front of us. What the hell is this all about? Yeah, yeah it is a dam right here on the right. Uh, but that's a, like an old one or something. Oh wow, but the view here is quite spectacular, guys. Okay, that's a, that's a highlight of, the, of this morning so far. But look at all, again, all the trees are burned out here. Yeah, they are actually dry, not bird. These Rockies are really rocky, it's not like Nebraska. getting into a tunnel. How long is that tunnel? Not too long. Very similar to Fernie. <laughs> There's an overlook on the dam. Oh, a nice waterfall on the left. Oh, that's a short one. I expect it to be a tunnel. is nice and green and turquoise. Oh, it looks like we'll be crossing that river.
North Cascade. I believe it's a Diablo Lake. We'll see just to confirm everything. Going to check out the viewpoint. The wind is gonna kill you guys. The dam is actually now we know the name. It's called the Diablo Dam as well, same as the lake. Holy, it's ever windy in here, right? Just passing another dam. It's a rose dam. We are just leaving the North Cascade National Park, continuing on Washington State Route 20. But now, since we pulled off, pulled over for some pictures, we'll have a lot of marshmallow in front of us. Scenic Highway, Rainy Pass. Trough, little western town, pretty cool vibe. And there is a blues festival going on here today. That's why probably there's so many vehicles here, and it might be a tourist uh, town as well. shops that's pretty much it for that town two streets crossing, crossing each other wine shed in front of us brewery shop Bogdan where are you brewery is here As soon as we left this little western town, the scenery started changing and it's looking more like Osoyoos or where we were more in the south. Just a burned out grass, exposed rock and a lot of pine trees. So that's a totally different to than uh, what we've seen before we got into this little town. 
because over there we had a nice and beautiful and green lush uh, pine trees and a lot of lakes and a totally different type of rock comparing to what we see here uh, this this section is uh, almost uh, seems like a desert um, a very power very similar to that southern Washington uh, part where we were at close to Columbia River and uh, we will be on our last stretch uh, right now uh, heading towards Canadian border so at this point uh, to Calgary we have another 548 miles to go but that's not gonna happen today we're not gonna push it that far we will ride probably for another two hours or so another option uh, we're still thinking if that's exactly what's gonna happen but um, there is a chance if we feel good enough well, we might make it all the way down to Nelson, uh, British Columbia because uh, my friend uh, Bogdan, uh, he has a good friend living just outside of Nelson so that's also not that far away, that's only like around 4 hour drive so that would bring us uh, to about 8.30 instead of finish riding about 5-6 uh, p.m. as we normally do we will have to push it to 8.30, which wouldn't be really that big of a deal. But that all, the, all depends how we feel, because uh, right now again, uh, the temperature is uh, hanging around uh, 38 degrees. Uh, so fluctuating between 38 and 40, I see on my uh, thermometer. Uh, their thermometer is probably more accurate because they're showing 38. But uh, on Africa Twin, since it's located closer to the insert of the engine, uh, it becomes uh, way less accurate. Our journey in the uh, United States is getting close to an end. Uh, another 40 miles or so we will be crossing the border back to Canada. And then uh, I have uh, one more day of riding tomorrow to get back to Calgary. It's gonna be a longer day. I will probably push it right through because it's about uh, an eight-hour ride from Nelson to Calgary. It was a really great experience on this trip uh, and a big variety. And everything changed because uh, we didn't, we couldn't do what we wanted to do because of the mishaps uh, with our motorcycles. So I think uh, next trips uh, we will be planning more oriented on pavement or tar, however you want to call it. Uh, that will make more sense. We will definitely do some gravel and stuff. On a longer trip, yes, I can accept some gravel, some uh, minor off-road, but nothing serious as the actual section, some of the sections of the BDR. I was expecting that um, the map that I pulled off uh, the Idaho BDR, there were more towards uh, normal, uh, not uh, really advanced riding, but I got to say that um, there's few, quite a few sections that we did that were very advanced, uh, even though we did handle them, but uh, I don't consider myself an uh, advanced rider or being really, really good at it. I, I can ride, but I do have my limits uh, of comfort and uh, once i I'm, I'm out of my comfort zone I'm, i don't appreciate the riding as much i always uh, have in the back of my mind that i want to get back to my family all in one piece right now uh, being away in the united states even though i do have insurance while i travel here but uh, i don't want to push the limits uh, and uh, you know go home injured or even worse what happens if the bike seriously gets damaged there and you cannot return home. What, are you gonna push the bike down the hill? I don't think so. Good thing on my bike, only the fan on this trip went. That's an easy fix, uh, hopefully, once I get home. What happens if you cr cr crack the, uh, the engine case or something like that? Um, yeah, so you, JB Weld will do it temporarily, but depends how much oil you're gonna lose. And uh, some of the distances are quite drastic. So anyways, uh, I'll see you guys uh, in a bit. Uh, I'm approaching the border crossing, so it's, uh, we are very close to the border.
I'm still deciding if I should pull a iron butt on either to, to get to the Calgary. Still want to make the decision after I cross the border. We'll see. All right, so we just crossed the border. It was nice and quick. No headache for a change. No issues. And we are about two kilometers from Grand Forks, British Columbia. So first thing, most likely what I'll do, I'm stopping by to have a Tim Horton coffee. Guys, just a little side note. After pulling into Tim Hortons here in Canada, we traveled through five different states. Uh, we have ordered many different drinks. And only bullshit in this freaking country, our Prime Minister Trudeau offers paper straw. What kind of a crap you're drinking? An ice cap and the straw is melting, getting soft. Everywhere in states, you're having a drink with a normal plastic straw. Nobody gives a crap about it. I don't get it. The left wing gotta go. Big time. Enough of this crap. Well, anyway, so we're back. Had a coffee at Timmy's with the paper straw. Now we're heading back to Nelson. Another couple hours of driving, of riding tonight. And tomorrow morning, I was planning to, to go uh, today actually, but tomorrow morning I'll get up early and I'll head back to Calgary. Holy crap, look at the gas prices here, buck 74. Thirty-five kilometers to Nelson, and it is getting darker. The sun is setting. Mm -hmm. 